टुडे वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी ऑफ एस्क्वामस सेल कार्सिनोमा टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट एस्क्वामस सेल कार्सिनोमा दैट कैन अकर लाइक द कार्सिनोमा ऑफ लिप लाइक द कार्सिनोमा ऑफ टंग कार्सिनोमा ऑफ बकल पैलेट बकल में कोशा पैलेट जिंजाइवा एंड द कार्सिनोमा ऑफ मैक्सिलरी एंट्रम आउट ऑफ विच द कार्सिनोमा ऑफ टंग वॉज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सरसाइज एंड लिटिल मोर अबाउट द डिफरेंट क्लिनिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड द इंट्रोडक्शन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्कॉमर्सियल कार्सिनोमा सो इफ यू हैव वॉन्ट टू वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो बैक एंड वॉच द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ स्क्वामर्सियल कार्सिनोमा फर्स्ट एंड देन इट विल बी ईजी फॉर यू to understand what we are discussing in the histopathology of squamous cell carcinoma i have given the link in description so now come to the histopathology the histopathology of squamous cell carcinoma we have divided it into three part that is well differentiated okay then we have moderate differentiation okay and then we have poor differentiation so these are the three differentiating point on which we have divided the histology of squamous cell carcinoma so in the well differentiated type of squamous cell carcinoma histology we have high keratinization in the moderate we have moderate keratinization or intermediate keratinization okay then we have poor that is little or no keratinization little or very less keratinization okay means the amount of keratin that has been laid down is in this sequence that one has high keratinization the another has moderate keratinization and this one has little keratinization means what i am telling you that when we see in the histology the number of keratin pearl will be very much high high number of keratin pearl means maximum keratin pearl will be seen little less than the well differentiated little less keratin pearl and here no or zero or very very less keratin pearl present all of you have written this so now come to the third point okay so in the well differentiated it will consist of dysplastic feature and since it is a epithelial tumor so this plastic which feature will be present and in the well differentiated very less dysplastic feature in the moderate we have intermediate intermediate type of dysplastic feature whereas in the poorly differentiated very high amount of i am just telling you the dysplastic feature in little concise way that in the dysplastic feature you will find that there is hyperchromatism there is the change in the epithelial lining and the cytoplasmic ratio will be altered so these are the dysplastic features okay 
so in the poorly differentiated very high amount of chromatism hyperchromatism that is very high dysplastic feature will be seen whereas in the intermediate will be intermediate type of dysplastic feature less dysplastic feature but in the case of well differentiated very poor dysplastic feature but in the well differentiated the number of keratinization and the number of keratin pearl will be maximum now come to the mitotic figure in the mitotic figure means number of cell division will be very high increase or present okay in the intermediate type of the histological grade very very high very high very high type of mitotic figure and poorly very much high mitotic figure means the mitotic figure in the case of poorly differentiated is very much high so the number of cell division in the case of poorly differentiated which will be very high so these are the case of histological grading now lymphatic infiltration come to the lymphatic infiltration in the case of well differentiated very marked lymphatic infiltration mean in the connective tissue lymphatic infiltration will be very marked in the connective tissue here intermediate type of lymphatic infiltration and here very poor lymphatic infiltration then we have intercellular bridges means cell to cell bridges will be in the well differentiated will be very much demonstrated and can matlab means it cannot be demonstrated okay but in the poorly differentiated we can differentiate that this is the cell to cell differentiation okay or the cell to cell junction the hyperchromatic nucleus will be present in the well differentiated case hyperchromatic nucleus will be present very less in the case of poorly differentiated and now the some common histological grading you can see in the case of the whole squamous cell carcinoma and that will be the breach in the epithelium means epithelium may break hoga and that will lead to the metastasis into the case so this type of epi this type of epithelial breach you can see i am making that breach see this is the epithelial breach okay so this type of epithelial breach in the connective tissue you can see from the epithelium okay so this was called the histological grading of the histology of the squamous cell carcinoma now come to the radiographic feature of the squamous cell carcinoma in the histo in the radiographic feature of squamous cell carcinoma you will find that there is bone invasion okay so if you will find that there is little bone invasion radiolucent area can be present the saucerization of bone means see this is the bone and from here you will find that this type of cuffing of bone or you can say saucerization of bone will be seen this type okay bone will be eaten up okay then the cortical bone expansion can be seen so there will be loosening of teeth and destruction of the lamina dura okay you will find here so this was the means in the dental arch you will find that since 
see this is the dental arch okay and this is the bony portion in which the tooth socket is present and in the normal case this type of bony socket the tooth are present okay this is the normal case now come to this feature that this is the squamous cell carcinomic bone and you will find that this type means you are seeing that no bone are present no bone and when there is no bone you will find that there is a floating bone pattern floating tooth pattern can be seen in the radiograph okay then come to the treatment plan we have surgical excision surgical excision in the early stage then we have x-ray therapy radiation chemo surgery chemotherapy and radiotherapy can be the type of treatment plan but this all treatment plan depend upon the case of the staging in which grade the tumor is present so in the next lecture we will discuss about the tnm staging of the malignant tumor of oral cavity that may be either basal cell carcinoma that can be either any salivary gland tumor that can be either because of the squamous cell carcinoma so this is the condition in which we will discuss hope this all video what i have taught you today is helpful to you if it was so please do like share and subscribe to our channel ocean of dentistry please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get all the regular updates from our channel also you can follow me on instagram page ocean of dentistry the link of which has been given in our description for the notes and the theories of this topic or any other topic related to the dentistry and the medical science you can contact me on our telegram channel that is dental notes at the link of which is also given in our description box thank you that's all for today keep loving me keep your subscription with me thank you that's all